Since the moment of inertia comes from a CAD program, the stability calculations in the boat design competition are pretty straightforward. They're simply plug and chug. The first thing we need to do is calculate the transverse stability of our ship. So if I'm looking from the forward of my ship, I would expect my center of buoyancy to be somewhere here. My center of gravity to be somewhere here. And my meta center, which we're going to calculate, to be somewhere here. So the first thing to do is to find the transverse moment of inertia, which from AutoCAD from my example boat I found to be 85,563.12, and this is in inches to the fourth. Next I need to calculate my metacentric radius, which is my distance from my center of buoyancy to my transverse meta center. This is simply my moment of inertia in the transverse direction divided by my volumetric displacement, which I said I was going to use from my water plane areas. And this gives me a metacentric radius of 8.43 inches. Since I know from this equation the distance from my center of buoyancy to my meta center, and I already know my center of buoyancy distance from the keel of the boat, we're going to now find the distance from the keel to the meta center. So we're going to call this Km subscript t, and this is simply adding the vertical center of buoyancy plus the metacentric radius. My vertical center of buoyancy was 3.04 inches above my baseline. And of course we just found our metacentric radius. And therefore my meta center is now 11.47 inches above my baseline. As mentioned in the stability introduction, our metacentric height is the most important part of our stability calculations. And so we need to calculate this. Now since we know how far the meta center is above the baseline and we already know that our center of gravity is a certain distance above our baseline, we can just subtract the two. My center of gravity was 6.06 .06 inches above the baseline and therefore my metacentric height is 5.41 inches. It's important to note a few things in this example. My metacentric height is positive, which is what I want. I wouldn't want a negative uh, metacentric height because that would mean my boat is unstable. And also the ordering of my points is correct in that my center of buoyancy is my lowest point, my center of gravity is my second highest point, and then my meta center is my third highest point. Uh, if you can get your center of gravity below your center of buoyancy, that would be amazing, but that's very difficult to do. Now that we've calculated the transverse stability, we need to calculate the longitudinal stability. So I'm going to draw my boat as if I'm looking from the side. And now my center of buoyancy is going to be here. My center of gravity is going to be here. And my center, or my meta center, is going to be here. I found from CAD my longitudinal moment of inertia to be 786 1,110.71 inches to the fourth, and therefore my metacentric radius is equal to my moment of inertia in the longitudinal direction divided by my displacement, again coming from my water plane areas. And this gives me a metacentric radius of 77.47 inches. To find my height of my meta center in the longitudinal direction, I just need to add my vertical center of buoyancy plus my metacentric radius. My vertical center of buoyancy 
just like in the transverse direction, was 3.04 inches. And therefore, my metacenter is sitting 80.51 inches above my baseline. My metacenter height is equal to my height of my metacenter my, minus my vertical center of gravity. My vertical center of gravity again is the same as it was in the uh, transverse direction. And now my metacentric height is definitely positive at 74.45 inches. Again, the ordering of my points is reasonable. My center of buoyancy is below my center of gravity, and both of those are below my longitudinal metacenter. You can also see that these values are much larger than they were in the transverse direction, and that means my boat is more stable in the longitudinal direction than it is transversely. And that makes sense because my boat is much longer than it is wider.